Welcome to our Bible study series by HelpfulScripture.com. In this video, we review the 10 most relevant Bible verses about greed. If you want to study this topic more, then be sure to click the link below to our website. Our website, HelpfulScripture.com, has many more passages on this topic, and hundreds of additional topics. Also, if you want to share the Bible with others, then click the like button and share this video with your friends. Now let's get started. Passage number 1. The first verse on the subject of greed is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 10. It says, But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we certainly can't carry anything out. But having food and clothing, we will be content with that. But those who are determined to be rich fall into a temptation, a snare, and many foolish and harmful lusts, such as drown men in ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some have been led astray from the faith in their greed, and have pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Passage number 2. The second verse in our study of greed is found in Luke chapter 12, verse 15. It says, He said to them, Beware. Keep yourselves from covetousness, for a man's life doesn't consist of the abundance of the things which he possesses. Passage number 3. For our third verse, we turn in our Bible to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 3 through 5. It reads, But sexual immorality, and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not even be mentioned among you, as becomes saints, nor filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not appropriate, but rather giving of thanks. Know this for sure, that no sexually immoral person, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Passage number 4. This is from Proverbs chapter 15, verse 27. The scripture says, He who is greedy for gain troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. Passage number 5. The fifth verse is from James chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. The Bible says, Come now, you rich, weep and howl for your miseries that are coming on you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and your silver are corroded, and their corrosion will be for a testimony against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up your treasure in the last days. Behold, the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you have kept back by fraud, cry out, and the cries of those who reaped have entered into the ears of the Lord of armies. You have lived in luxury on the earth, and taken your pleasure. You have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You have condemned and you have murdered the righteous one. He doesn't resist you. Congratulations. You've made it halfway through our study. So let's pause here for a moment. I want to remind you again that if you want to study this topic more, then be sure to visit the link in the description below. The link will take you to our website, helpfulscripture.com, where you can study more Bible verses on the subject of greed and hundreds of other topics. Now let's continue our study on greed. Passage number 6 is from Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 10 through 12. It says, He who loves silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he who loves abundance, with increase. This also is vanity. When goods increase, those who eat them are increased, and what advantage is there to its owner, except to feast on him with his eyes? The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eats little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not allow him to sleep. Passage number 7. The seventh verse is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. The Bible says, Or don't you know that the unrighteous will not inherit God's kingdom? Don't be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor extortionists, will inherit God's kingdom. Some of you were such, but you were washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus, and in the Spirit of our God. Passage number 8. The eighth verse on the subject of greed is from Proverbs chapter 28 verses 25 through 28. It reads, One who is greedy stirs up strife, but one who trusts in Yahweh will prosper. One who trusts in himself is a fool, but one who walks in wisdom is kept safe. One who gives to the poor has no lack, but one who closes his eyes will have many curses. When the wicked rise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous thrive. Passage number 9. 
Our ninth verse is from Colossians chapter 3, verse 5. The passage states, Put to death therefore your members which are on the earth, sexual immorality, uncleanness, depraved passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Passage number 10. Our tenth and final verse on the subject of greed is from Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. It says, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be devoted to one and despise the other. You can't serve both God and mammon. This concludes our Bible study on the topic of greed. If you want to study this topic more, then click the link below to visit our website, where we have many more Bible verses related to greed, and hundreds of other Bible subjects. Also, remember to like the video and share it with your friends on social media, to help spread the gospel. Thanks again for listening and God bless.